Hi guys, welcome to my art channel. My name's Nikki. So I'm just whizzing through uh, two fails first. Didn't want to bore you. Um, it was actually fourth time lucky for this one, not third time because um, I did another one on a 12 by 24 canvas and it flocked really, really bad. No idea what's going on. It's paints I've used before. They're not newly mixed up paints and they've reacted perfectly before. But oh, I know we all get it, but it's so frustrating when we don't know what's going on. So, yeah. So I'll tell you what these colours are. This is just the scrapings. Uh, I scrape them into tubs like that to reuse. And because I knew I was going to put the colour all over, it doesn't matter that it's um, a bit mucky. So the first colour down is, it's. A, I'm just reading the lid. It's a mixture of, where are we? Paper Mill, which is the brand pigment, and it's Iridescent Fuchsia. And I mix that with Atelier Red Violet. So it makes a, a gorgeous deep pink. So I'm putting quite a lot of that down. And then on top of that, I put a little bit of TLP Mosh. And that's uh, another pigment by this little piggy. At this stage, I was just using up, as you can see, using up all the, all the leftovers, all the remnants, because as I say, I'd been scraping and I was getting low on colours. So I was just literally grabbing things. So it's a bit of a funny combo, this one is. Because I actually put blue on top of orange, which, yeah, we all know blue and orange is a bit of a no-no. But I wasn't thinking. So this is another TLP. This is Blue Eyes mixed with Perlex Interference Blue. But it just come out really nice at the end, the blue and the, the orange just peeks through and it's lovely. And this one is Lumiere Halo Blue Gold, which I think it's one of my favourites at the moment. Um, when you see the colour shift in this, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's almost like, well, that can't be the same colour paint because it's really greeny gold at one angle and then it's blue. It's it's gorgeous. It's um, You wait till you see, I only have to move the canvas slightly and it's just a totally different colour. It's almost like you'd say, wow, that, that can't be real. That's been... That's been photoshopped, but it's amazing. And my cell activator is Payne's Grey. It's a mixture of Atelier Payne's Grey and Jo Sonia Payne's Grey. Just because, I don't know why, I just thought I'd mix the two together and mix with Australian Floetrol. So I've done this uh, at the normal speed, just so you can see how slowly, because it is important to keep your spatula spatula palette knife should I say um, my palette knife is from fluid art co and it's important to keep it still because otherwise you get a weird center so try and keep it still just on the very top of your paint your pillow paint turn your lazy susan uh, at the same time and it, it helps you do it and then hopefully the center comes out nice so yeah this is a spin swipe um, I do, I, you'll see me modify this in one part and I do actually wish I'd have left it. The cells were really huge. Often where you start the swipe, the cells will always expand and you'll always get gigantic cells there. But when I went to edit this video and I looked at it, I did actually like it. I thought it looked really nice with a big boulder cell. So, but I always do this. I wish I'd have taken a photograph and stepped back and, and looked at it and thought about it and looked at the photograph and not, not messed with it. But no, I didn't. I messed with it. It's still pretty, but um, I just think it's nice how it was before I missed. So that's a tip for you all. If you're not 100%, just walk away for five minutes, take some photographs and study your photographs and you sort of look at it with new eyes and then then you can 
not make any mistakes and, and you know, mess. It's still pretty. I, I'm not taking it away from that, but I did like the boulder cells and I wish I'd have left it. So, yeah, I'm tilting it just to get a little bit of composition before I spin. Just getting it where I like it. But when you look at the cells close up in this as well in the flyover, talk about peacock cells. Every colour is in some of these cells. They just cell upon cell upon. It's just ring all the rings of colour. They're beautiful. It's gorgeous colours. It's it's a really weird combo, but I just think it's lovely. And the, the mosh, the bright orange, fluoro orange, how it just highlights in certain parts. I think it's really cool. So yeah, I'll um, put a little bit of music on and then come back to you in the flyover. all the colours in those cells are just amazing all the rings of colours so pretty the cells are so defined I'm so relieved to get something after scraping I just thought oh I can't believe this so it's fourth time lucky but look at the difference in the colours when you if you look at it sort of from a, a side angle, it's very blue. But then when you, you're looking down on it, it's um it's that goldy colour. Amazing. 
amazing. I love this paint, this Lumiere blue gold. So if you like it, please hit the like button and share. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's free and then you'll know when I put out a new video and hit the notification bell too. So you'll be notified. And yeah, hope you like it. And thank you for all the lovely comments. And thank you for being here with me again. I really appreciate every single one of you. Honestly, I do. And everybody take care. Stay safe, everybody. See you soon. Bye.